Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Saturday, March 23rd, 2024. Good morning, I'm Mike Sepervivi. We begin today with WWE SmackDown broadcast live last night on Fox from the Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee. The show closed with a 25-minute in-ring promo segment in which Cody Rhodes confronted Universal Champion Roman Reigns and the two traded barbs in the lead-up to their upcoming match at WrestleMania. Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso emerged from the crowd to threaten Rhodes at the end of the segment, but were met by Jimmy Uso and world champion Seth Rollins, who arrived to back up Rhodes. Wait, 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 that's, that's main event, Jay, that's Seth freaking Rollins! Who can play at that game? It seems like Cody Rhodes may have gotten the jump on Roman Reigns for once. Cody Rhodes was not born yesterday. The tables have turned. In the final match of the night, the Street Profits beat the authors of Pain to advance in the tournament to determine the next participant in WrestleMania's 16 match for the World Tag Team title. The Profits are set to meet Grayson Waller and Austin Theory in the next round of the tournament as Waller and Theory defeated the Good Brothers earlier in the show. In other results, Santos Escobar beat Rey Mysterio in the opening match due to outside interference from Dominic Mysterio and WWE Women's Champion EO Sky defeated Naomi thanks to a distraction from Damage Control. After the match, Damage Control laid out both Naomi and Bianca Belair who had come out to try to make the save. Also on the show, it was announced that Jade Cargo would make her first official appearance as a SmackDown talent on next week's SmackDown from the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. In All Elite Wrestling news, Jungle Boy Jack Perry appears to be on the outs with Tony Khan. According to a report yesterday by Brian Alvarez of Figure Four Online, Perry remains under contract to AEW, and he has asked for his release but has been denied, despite there being no current plans to bring him back to AEW TV. There had reportedly been talks to bring Perry back late last year, but those plans were nixed by Khan after CM Punk made his official return to WWE at the Survivor Series in November. The report maintains that Perry and Khan have not spoken for months, and that Perry has not cleared any of his creative in New Japan Pro Wrestling with Khan, including his appearances tearing up his supposed AEW contract and referring to himself as the scapegoat. The belief is that Perry's physical altercation with Punk last August at AEW All-In from Wembley Stadium was the last straw that led to Punk's final departure from the company, which in turn led to his re-signing with WWE. Perry has denied reports that he has ever apologized to Khan for the incident. In more WWE news, the Slammy Awards are set to return this year with the company announcing they would be presented during a special ceremony on Sunday, April 7th, and streaming across all WWE social media platforms as part of WrestleMania 40 weekend. Voting for the awards is open to the public as of yesterday through this coming Wednesday. This marks the first time the Slammys have been presented since 2020. The Slammy Awards were first established in 1986. In news from outside the ring, Afa Anoa'i, best known as one half of the Wild Samoans and uncle to Roman Reigns, successfully underwent surgery yesterday, according to Mike Johnson from PW Insider. Anoa'i had sustained multiple fractures to his back due to a fall earlier this month. He is reportedly still in need of a heart valve replacement surgery in the near future. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The wrestling news is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the wrestling newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network. <laughs>